So this time around, we are looking at uh, June 2022, and we are doing food and nutrition paper one. We have one and a half hours to solve this, so let's get started. Okay, they say question number one. I'm zooming in. Yep. Okay, go. Number one says that which equipment is suitable for weighing food items? We have scale, balance, measuring spoon, measuring bowls, and measuring cup. The equipment that is suitable for measuring food items is A. Okay, that is the scale balance. So, question number one, our answer is A. Scale balance. Why is it a scale balance? Because a scale balance is indeed suitable for weighing food items. Balance scales are designed to measure and weigh accurately and are commonly used in kitchen, labs, and other places where precise measurements are required. So, using the definition of scale balance that is used for measuring, used for weighing precise measurements. And then, question number two says that. Uh, Number two is asking us that I have to scroll up. So question number two is asking us that a high intake of iron during pregnancy. They say a high okay good. Question number two says the high intake of iron during pregnancy prevents kwashako anemia. Very, very plague area. Well, if it's ions, we are taking ions, then we are preventing bed anemia. Okay, so anybody who is taking ions is preventing anemia. Okay, because anemia is actually what is caused from iron deficiency. Okay, if you have iron deficiency, you have deficiency in ions, you suffer from anemia. So anemia is directly related to ions. Okay, so sufficient iron intake could prevent anemia so the answer is question number answer question number two is b and then we have um, question number three they say the use of race to preserve food is called so by definition we are, we are preserving food by race it is irradiation next question question number four says the first step in bread making is it is setting the sponge kneading creaming the yeast and mixing the dough well, if we are making bread, the first step is to mix the dough, that is D. Okay, because mixing the dough is the fundamental steps, okay, where all the other dry and wet ingredients are combined to form a cohesive mixture. And this allows the flour to absorb liquid and activate yeast. So it's when you are mixing the dough, this is the step that you mix all the wet and dry ingredients and then you activate the yeast and then the flour absorbs all the liquids and then question number five so question number four the answer is d and then question number five a clear soup containing beef is known as by definition it is broth okay broth is a clear flavor liquid made by simmering meat okay so that's by definition the answer is broth Question number six. Question number six says that which is the best location for a kitchen bin? So, which is the best location for a kitchen bin? Is it beside the window, behind the exit floor, behind the entry door, under the sink unit? Under the sink unit is the best location, okay, as it keeps the bin out of sight and provides easy access while preparing food and cleaning up. So the answer is under the sink. And then for question number seven, they say food is packed before frozen to prevent. We are packing food before we are freezing. That should tighten it up now before putting the fridge. So food is packed before frozen to prevent. We have dehydration, wetting, scattering, and decoloring. But if we are preventing the dehydration, okay, because when food is not properly packed before freezing, the moisture escapes from the food. Okay, and migrate to the closest part of the freezer, forming ice. And this process, this is why we pack food before freezing, so that the moisture should not escape from the food. 
So that's what happens. So the answer to question number seven is D. Question number eight. Number eight says um, a course of meal is okay. It's a list of dishes served. Is meals containing balanced diet? Is dishes eaten as part of a meal? Is following foods adding to the diet? It is dishes eaten as part of a meal. So that is what the cause of meal is. is dishes eaten as part of a meal. Question number nine. An example of macronutrient is. An example of macronutrient. Macronutrient. Okay, so we have um, calcium, iodine, iron, and zinc. Well, the macronutrient, macro, macro, okay, take note, okay, well, it's macro, and then the answer is zinc. So, why is it zinc? Because macronutrients are nutrients that your body needs in large amounts for energy to maintain its structure and functions. Examples of micronutrients include carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Okay, nitrate, okay, so, macronutrients, we, our body needs zinc in large uh, amounts. Then the uh, next question, which is question number 10. So question number 10, uh, scrolling up now. Question number 10, yep, number 10, this is number 10. It says, most carbohydrates in wheat are found in, we have uh, most carbohydrates in wheat are found in the germ, the brain, the endosperm, the Scotellum. Like uh, carbohydrates is found in where it's found in the endosperm. Okay, because the all of these other oh, things, the germ, the brand, the may contain some carbohydrates, but the endosperm huh, is the primary storage area for carbohydrates in the form of starch. Okay, so the endosperm is the primary storage area for carbohydrates in the form of starch. And then question number 11. Number 11 is asking us that heat transfer in Congo steam is by means of we have conduction, convection, microwaves, and radiation. Well, this conduction is when heat is transferred from one object to another. Okay, and then convection is when heat is transferred from one object to another, but it passes through a fluid. So heat can transfer from, let's say, the gas to the to the cover of the pot and it passes through liquid it passes through a fluid okay convection the heat transfer must pass through a fluid it can pass through either air or water and then conjunction it does not pass through air or water it just goes directly so we know convection is the heat transfer the heat passes through air and enters the cone so the correct answer to question number 11 is b heat transfer to cone was things by means of convection Next question. Our next question. Uh, okay. Foods to be fried could be prevented from scattering by. We have fry drying, frying dry, coating. We have steaming. We have cooking in little oil. If we don't want the food to scatter, it means we have to coat the food. Okay. So the answer is. Uh, Quotes in that is B. And then question number 13, they say the stage at which wheat is milled into flour is known as, that's by converting wheat into flour to the granny meal. So it is a uh, food processing. No, not food processing. We have um, primary processing. We have food technology. We have secondary processing. The answer is uh, secondary processing. The correct answer is D. That is secondary processing. Why? Because... Uh, Secondary possession is a stage where raw material is converted into usable product. Okay, but primary possession is not primary possession because this is the first stage of processing. Okay, in this case, the wheat will involve cleaning. You, this one, primary possession will involve like farming the wheat, removing it from the soil, and then cleaning the wheat and all those things. But when you are converting it into a usable product, from raw materials to usable products, usually. Um, Secondary processing, and then uh, let's go to the next one. Next one, they, they say that the uh, energy used for movement of muscles is 
Okay, we are moving our muscles. We are using heat energy, no chemical energy. We have mechanical energy and have electrical energy. So, muscles is human being. And it's definitely a chemical energy. Okay, we are using chemical energy because in relation to biology, not chemical energy is stored in the ATP and then it's as phosphate and it's converted into mechanical energy during muscle contraction. So where you see that we are using is in the movement. So you call, it's chemical energy that is converted into mechanical energy. Okay. So when chemical energy is released, it transforms to mechanical energy and it causes the body to contract. So the answer is not B, the answer is C. So the correct answer for question number 14 is C. If they said heat is stored in the muscles as energy stored in the, in the muscles as I mean, chemical energy, because chemical energy, chemical energy is what is stored with. Why using anything means that it's transformed to mechanical energy, and so why using in terms of use will have mechanical energy. And then um, question number fifteen: is here, Identify a sedentary worker from below. Okay, sedentary worker: we have plumber, we have office secretary, we have a bus conductor, we have a builder. So a sedentary worker, sedentary worker here is going to be the office secretary. Because sedentary, sedentary now, the keyword is sedentary, it refers to jobs that require sitting for long periods. So you are sitting for long periods, a sedentary worker, okay, or maybe, maybe I think, maybe me, I might be a sedentary worker because I'm just sitting and then doing these lectures. Okay, I'm, I'm definitely, who knows, why, why not? And then, uh, question number 16. Question number 16. Which of the following foods are of high energy value? We have bread and tea, we have beans and corn, we have eggs and ice cream. Classgate.com is an online learning platform for both teachers and students. If you want to teach, teach on Classgate. Okay, I'm encouraging all teachers. And please, please, please tell your teachers that you can support them. Okay, they should get all the video of the solutions and you can support them on Classgate. Okay, so that the course is there anytime you want and it's available there for you. Anytime you want, you can always access the solutions and access the course. Even if you're forgotten something, you can always access the course that your teacher has uploaded online. Okay, and you can support them on Classgate. Good, so when you come to Classgate, the first thing you want to do is log in. I've told you before, log in with your Google account. So those of you who have Google accounts, super for you. Log in with your Google account. Just log in with your Google account. It's very easy. Log in with your Google account so you can start enjoying free courses or cheap courses on Classgate. It's very easy. A lot of people are doing this. So let's get started. After logging in, search for the course you want to study. And today, we're studying mathematics. Okay, everybody's studying math. So we're doing math today. We're searching. Searching for math. And now you have all the mathematics courses available. Okay, and it's just a hundred francs. Look, we already have one student here. And this course was already today. Okay, and this is paper one, math statistics, 2023 solutions. And this is paper three, 2023 advanced level solutions. And this is 2022 paper three, advanced level solutions. That's a hundred francs each. Another three courses. We have um, O level mathematics, 2003, 2023 GC solutions, paper one. Okay, so if you want to you enjoy the free course, just enroll now. We have told you, enroll now, okay, and you take it to the classroom and you start enjoying your free course. But I've told you that if the course is paid, the button will be add to card. You see the add to card button. And let's buy um, pure math statistics paper 1, 2023. So I've added this to card. See, I've added to card button. And what you do after adding to card, you want to click this. Um, you can always click that blue icon that just pops up right there. You can click it to go and pay. You can also click the card icon. This is the card icon. Click on it. We have clicked the card icon and we are waiting. And you see, this is what is now card. We have... Um, Cameroon, GC 2023, Pure Master Statistics, Part 1, Advanced Level Solutions, MCQs, and it's 100 francs. So, the total pay is 100 francs, no charges. Just proceed to check out. Click the Proceed to Check Out button, like I have done. Proceed to Check Out. And on the checkout page, you just have to write your mobile money number. Okay, it takes orange and MCN as our Cameroonian. So, you write in your mobile money number. Complete payment. 
And if you are hitting the correct camera number, Cameroonian number, you see this button turns red. Okay, the grey button is now red, meaning you can pay now. So click on the complete payment button. Complete payment button. And while waiting, I've been given two minutes to pay for this call. So let's just wait for the prompt on our phone. So the prompt has already appeared on my phone and I've dialed my mobile money pin. Okay, I've already approved transactions, so I'm just waiting for me to have access to the course. It won't take much time. The way I have access to the course, see? Now, payment successful, billing success. If you want the receipt, you can always click here to see the receipt of the course that we have just bought. Okay, and this is the receipt of the course that we have bought. Very good receipt. And let's go here. Successful transfer, payment was successful. And after payment is successful, we want to enter, in, enter the course, just see? From your profile icon, okay? From the profile icon, what's enrolled courses? And it has appeared on our course list. Okay, and what courses? This is what we bought. We bought pure math with statistics paper one. We can start the course and start enjoying our MCQ solutions to math GCE paper one 2023. It will take a while for the course to load. They just click the play icon right here. Our course is loaded. Okay, if you want to use less megabytes, you can always select the quality you prefer. Select it here. If you want to speed up the course, Let's speed, up, speed up by two times, okay? I speed the course up by two times, and this is how the course is. Okay, don't forget, you can also ask questions. Very important, ask questions, and I want all of you to ask questions. The course, the course instructor will be right there to respond to your queries. Okay, don't forget, classgate.com, educating comfort.